morning students today we are going to have classes on chapter 2 the computer system from this chapter already we have completed quite many topics so let us start before proceeding to start let us see in the previous lecture what we have completed center processing unit RAM, ROM, secondary memory, magnetic media, optical media, flash drive, memory stick, smart card, catch memory. These following things already we have completed in the previous lecture. Today's lecture we are going to learn in this following topic, which are output unit from the output unit we are going to learn, visual display unit, video printer, plotter, speaker, these following topics we are going to cover in this lecture. So let us start, first one is output unit, output unit comprises of output devices attached to the computer output devices like video, printer, plotter and speaker. Convey information from the computer to user. Output unit actually it is used to give the output through visual display unit which is all the information used on the monitor and those information used on the monitor to get print out on a paper which is called the hard copy to the printer we are going to get that plotter with the plotter we are actually getting a printout of the banner, as printing and all. And a speaker, to the speaker, the sound output we get. So from this output unit, the first is video, visual display unit, video or the monitor, which is resembles a television screen. It displays both text and graphics text also and graphic also you can get it. The display can be either black and white or color depending on type of, which type of the monitor you are going to use and that measurement also is there and uh, measurement you can uh, measure it uh, according to diagonal length how diagonal length this is the diagonal this is okay like this way we can measure it. Monitors are available in three, uh, quite many different types, 14 inch, 17 inch, 19 inch, bigger than that also you get it. And besides that, uh, cathode ray tube, cathode ray tube and liquid crystal display, cathode ray tube the old type of the monitor like TV type no? behind that um, like a cone no? uh, that uh, uh, vacuum tube is there. That type of monitors are called CRT monitor. Then LCD monitor, which already you have now, that liquid crystal display and the new products also available, which is LED, light, which we meet in direct now, LED, uh, that type of video also available. The output produced on video is called soft copy. The output which is you know, display on the screen that is called the soft copy. Okay, this is the one, soft copy. Okay, so data can be represented on the screen in two modes, which is text mode and graphics mode. Okay, in these two modes, the data will display on the output device. Okay, and in the next mode, only the text or individual characters are displayed. Text or individual characters are displayed. In the graphics mode, what will happen? Pictures are shown and close that name and move to the screen using the object. In this mode, the screen is treated as uh, arrow of tiny dots called pictures no? or pictures elements and anything that appear on the screen is shown using this, this dots. So that means uh, text which will show individual character and with the graphics. Then the pictures it will show which are uh, 
uh, using dots okay and some picture elements you can draw the pictures okay i'm just following dots that we just for picture no with the pick and add the graphics okay so after the output you need the first one is visual display unit next is from there visual display unit some display adapters are there some display adapters so from this some display adapters the first one is easy easy actually now it is it's not easy uh, easy supports up to 16 colors at a time it easily has a resolution of either 640 into 200 pixel or 640 into 350 pixels So, in EGA, what happen? Testing color at a time only is supported. The resolution also very small. After that, it is developed to VGA, video graphics array adapter. VGA display both text and graphic are displayed. And uh, these are available in black and white as well as in color option. And VGA adapter, no? provides up to 256 colors and has a high resolution also. And there are two typing combinations of resolution and, and color. Uh, that uh, VGA adapter no, provides 640 and 480 pixels and with 16 colors and 1020 to 200 pixels with 256 colors. So, In VGA 640 into 480 pixels with 16 color. If this is the dimension, which is the dimension? If this is the dimension, then 16 color is supported. Okay. And if it is 320 into 200 pixels dimension, then 256 color will support. Okay. So, after VGA, it has developed again, which is called as VGA, Super Video Graphics and Adapter. And it is uh, just improvement of what? VGA. There are many combinations of resolution and color that as VGA provides. 640 into 400 pictures onwards, and which will support this, which is available in VGA also. But here, what happened in as VGA, 200 pictures color to 65,000. 536 color is supported. And if the resolution is 1024 into 768 pixels with 256 color, it will support. Okay. And 800 into 600 pixels, if it is, then 256 to 65,536 color will support. All right. And if it is 1200, 180 into 1024 pictures, then only 16 color will support. So, these are the dimensions of color support of EGA, EGA, VGA, and SVGA. Okay. So, nowadays, VGA and SVGA, this two what is easy. And besides that, HDMI. No, which is not in the book, HDMI also it is high definition, HDMI also it is used. Okay, so proceed, uh, let us proceed to the next. Uh, next is printer. A printer output information displayed, what is displayed on the computer screen on the paper. That is whatever is displayed on the computer, if you get print out to the printer, then that which is displayed on the screen that will print out to the paper. And the output produced on a paper no, is called what? Hard copy, which is called hard copy. This is the one. It is hard copy. Okay. And printers can be divided into two categories impact and non impact. The so printers are divided into two categories impact and non impact printers. So, let us start the both the categories uh, under the impact printers uh, which uh, models are there. Let us see. 
impact splinters in this splinters there is a physical contact between the paper head and paper so print head and paper so in the impact printer now what will happen with the, within, between the print head and the paper now there will be a physical contact an impact printer can be subdivided into line printer and character printer line printer and character so, under impact printer there are again subdivided into line printer and character printer. So, what is line printer? No? The line printers print one line, line printers print one line of text at a time. And their printing speed varies from 300 to 3000 lines per minute. So, this much only per minute 300 to 3000 lines can be printed. The help of line printers and drum printer and chain printer examples of line printers, drum printers and chain printers. We are going to discuss on this. Okay, so uh, we proceed it. So drum printer and chain printer, which has already, which is already we have seen no here. No, these are the example we are going to discuss. Drum printers and chain printers. A drum printer consists of a cylindrical drum on which characters are embossed for each and every print position on the line. The drum printer is rotated at a high speed. There is a magnetically driven hammer at each character position on the line. The character is printed by striking the hammer. Here you can see the example. This is the drum. Which is the drum? This is the drum. Okay, this is the one drum. And this is ribbon. This is ribbon. Okay. This is ribbon. No. And uh, this is the hammer printer. This is the one hammer printer. And this is paper. All right. So it's the mechanical drum printer where the drum, no, where the characters are given. It is uh, rotating at high speed. And when it is rotated, this printer hammer, no, it will strike on the character, and that will print. And with the help of the ribbon, you can get away from the ribbon to increase the air. Okay, this is the mechanism of a drum printer. Next is a chain printer. Chain printer has a character engraved in type assembled, assembled on a chain. Magnetically driven hammers are located at each print position. The chain is rotated at high speed, like a drum, you know. Chain also is rotated at high speed. With the rotation of the band, the hammer is activated when the desired character comes in the print. This is the mechanism of a chain printer, which you will see with highlight. This is the chain, okay. This is chain, no, which is the one? This is the chain. Clear? Yeah? This is the chain. This is the chain. So on the chain, what happened? The characters are there. Alright? And and this is the paper, which is the one, this is the paper, all right, this is the paper. And the printer hammer is, this is the one, okay, and this is the ribbon, okay, this is the ribbon. Ah. So here you see when the character will appear here, then the printer hammer will strike that and that will print out on a paper. This is the mechanism of a chain printer, okay, so drum printer and chain printer. What it is? It is an impact. It is an impact printer, which is called line printer and character character printer. Hmm? So, drum printer, chain printer, no? it is uh, under line printer software. Okay, let us proceed to the next one. Next is character printer. No? So, character printers. What a pen? Character printers. And this is a printing pin print here, no? printing pin and printing head. And this is the paper and this is the ribbon. No? This is the ribbon, this is the paper, and this is the printer head. The whole who holds this part, no? the whole this part is printer head. Okay. And, um, and these are the these are which is highlighted, these are the printing pin. Okay. And <coughs> Character printers, no? one character of a text at a time only, one character only it will print at a time. And they are slow printer with speed in the range of only 30 to 600 characters. Okay? 
a per second. Dot matrix printer and letter quality printer are exactly no printer, which uh, quite many times you can see that in the counter, giving counter, and all no, they are printing those are dot matrix printer. So, at the two six printer, how it is works? It is the most popular character printer, no, and which is using the most of the uh, printing uh, billing for purpose only, no. And the print hat contains a vertical array prints, which is the word vertical array prints, no. Uh, as the head moves across the paper, no, the head will move across the paper, no, this paper, what will happen? Uh, it is the ribbon, no, the ribbon, again the ribbon, this is the ribbon, no, and from the ribbon it will uh, strike it and it will print upon the paper. The more prints the print head has, the better will um, be the print quality. That means, if you head is head uh, has a more uh, prints, no, that print quality will be good. And many dot matrix printers are bi directional. Right? That is the one print one line of text from left to right and then next line from left to left. Right. So, left to right, like this, left to right it will print out, then again from right to left it will print out. Okay, so this is the mechanism of a dot matrix printer. So, let us proceed to the next. Next is non impact electronic thermal inject and laser printer. So, no, under non impact printer, under the impact printer always we have completed and uh, now under non impact printer what work I create there which are the one uh, in which are the device we are going to know that. So, non print, non impact printers use actually thermal, chemical, electrostatic, laser, beam or inject technology. This is no physical contact between the print head and paper. Usually, they are faster than impact printer. These printers are categorized as electromagnetic, thermal, inject, and laser printers. So, so non impact printers are popular nowadays for printing purpose and all, home purpose, always purpose, uh, business purpose, uh, all for all these purpose, uh, non impact printers are used and it is quite faster. So, under that, the first one is electronic. Electromagnetic printers, which are used used for what magnetic recording technique. They use magnetic recording technique. We are used. The required output is written on a drum surface, which comes into contact with magnetic powder that adheres to charge areas. The powder is then pressed on the paper. In the electromagnetic printers, the powder is there, which is the magnetic powder. So they are not that will be. Press on the paper, no. After that only you will get a printout. Next is thermal printers. Thermal printers use a special heat sensitive coated paper. When a, a spot on the paper passes under the print head, it gets heated. Uh, this turns the coating in that area black for use in the image or character of the paper. So thermal printers, they are no. The paper will become hot. At, no, the coated papers are there. No, that will become heated and the printed when it will strike there, no, it will be no, get heated and this turns coated, you know, that uh, it will hit the coating in the area, no, in that area, no, it will become black and for use in the image of the character, okay. After that, inject printer. So, inject printer is very popular. Uh, inject printers is a continuous stream of ink drops to print character on paper. The print head contains uh, tiny nozzles that spray drops, drops of ink on the paper. The quality is good because of the characters are formed by dozens of tiny ink drops. So, in the printers, the inks are there now that will be drop spray on the drops will be spray on the paper and that uh, printing you know, quality is very good. And also because of uh, dozens of tiny tiny ink drops are no, it is uh, spraying on the paper. Uh, like uh, the inkjet printer, Epson, we are using no, in the shop and all which are uh, popularly nowadays using for printing photo, printing document and all, no, those are inkjet printers. So, after inkjet printers, next is laser printer. So, laser printers print one page at a time. The printer print one page at a time. The output image is written on a popular drum. You know, 
that has the electrically charged light beam. This electrically charged areas attract the corner in particles that are deposited on the paper and permanently fix it using heat or pressure. So, this is the mechanism of a laser printer. So, that light beam, you know, the light beam that will be sent to here and on where the in the light beam here it will be there it will be electrically charged on the light beam you know. then when the paper will touch it here you know what will happen that electrically charged attract on the you know, you know, particles what will happen deposited on this paper and that will permanently fixed used how using heat and pressure you know, so this is the mechanism of a laser printer. So, laser, the help of laser it will go to the laser beam and from there it will be heated from the paper power it will fix it on this paper. Okay. So, this is the mechanism of a laser printer. After the laser printer next is drum plotter. A drum plotter contains a long cylinder and a pen case. The output paper is placed over the drum. The drum rotates clockwise and anti clockwise based on plotting instruction sent by the computer. The pen is mounted horizontally on the terrace, it moves horizontally along with the terrace from left to right and left to left. So, for this drawing of the paper. So, this is the drum plotter through which we are actually printing the flags, banner printing, and all. Now. That is called flatter, not the flex printer actually, that is called the photo the help of the photo only. Those graphical things are printed. After the drum plotter, next is micrographic plotter. The micrographic plotter uses paper on any other medium held on both sides at the edge, like a pinch, who is that move it. So, micrographic printer, this is a flat, uh, flat bed printer, this is a type of micrographic printer on the surface area, no, it will be kept and that, will, that is moved from the left to right. You know. Linger plotter, flat bed plotter, these two types, no, these two types are there. And inject plotter is just inject in place of pens. Inject will be spread in instead of the pen. And the drum plotter, the pen is there, no. And flat bed plotter, what will happen? The consist of stationary. Horizontal flat surface on the paper no, uh, on which paper or any other medium is fixed here. This is the this is the surface kept on that in the paper, polyester paper or maybe in the banner uh, paper no, will kept and that will horizontally it will be that left or right here. Like okay. So gram plotter, micrographic plotter will be kept and then next is and the last topic of, of today's class, speaker. Speaker, most of you know, this is the speaker. It is a small speaker which is in the computer. No? Inside the different types of speakers are there, which are we you know in this uh, definition on the introduction. No? The speaker gives sound output from the computer. The sound no? output is getting on the computer. It converts alternating electrical current into it can output music as well as spoken words also. Some speakers are built into the computer and some are placed outside. The laptop we have built in speakers. No? The desktop mainly need to be uh, placed uh, separately, but laptop if you buy, then no need to buy, uh, no need to be placed separately. If I mean in built, it is given in the laptop. The computer speaker range widely in quality and in price also. No, the computer speakers typically packaged uh, with you know, computer system have medium sound quality. No? The small one if you buy that is quality you know, so less and uh, the, um, that uh, features which will get less. No? And the better one if you buy then equalization um, features like bass, treble, control including the sound quality also those things also will get it. And most of the computer speakers may have a sound effect. For you telling you know, that if you are adding to the computer, then you will be more good. You know, the bass 
or photosynthesis and it is terrible also it is control also. No? So, speakers are using for our purpose to get the output of the sound. It can be a spoken words or music also. Okay. So, today we have completed from output unit we have quite many topics uh, which are visual display unit, printer, floater, speaker no? from the output unit we have completed this following top visual display unit, printers, floater, uh, speaker. From the visual display unit we have completed uh, um, so display of the software you like EGA, BGA, LDGA. Under printer we have completed uh, Line printers, character printer, and impact and multi print printers are there. Under the impact printer, um, drum printer, chain printer, no? then dot matrix printer, no? uh, which is called character printer. And under the non, non impact printers, we have to multi printer, thermal printers, inject printer, laser printer, we have to get that. And plotter under plotter, drum plotter, micro graphic plotter, no? those we have to get. The speaker, we have you know, to get the sound. this. No? So, today after this, thank you very much.